Uh, he's 17 years old and we did stem cell treatment on the 3rd of November, three months ago, exactly three months. And uh, we're seeing a lot of improvement uh, in the last three months. Things that he's not done for so many years, he's doing them quite easily now. We're able to teach him. His learning capacity has definitely gone up. His memory has gone up. And uh, his awareness of his surroundings using both hands. So, uh, to do activities like this, to cross over, to turn around and pick up something, to notice and track a ball that has rolled away, uh, things that are behind him, uh, fine motor has improved, so he's able to uh, you know, hold his spoon and eat dal chawal, which is something that he hadn't been able to do all these years. And uh, he had earlier he had very poor tone in his uh, lower arm and in his wrist and his hands. And that has improved uh, a lot. He's able to have a grip on things, so that's why he's able to hold a spoon. Um, then, uh, so, uh, so uh, taking part in um, social activities. Uh, he's uh, happy to be with uh, other people around. He's able to sit with the family and uh, watch TV, for example. I can recognizing people. He recognizes people, uh, not just family members. He recognizes his teachers. He's aware of. Uh, his uh, environment, so he knows where the temple is, where the swimming pool is, he knows where the garden is. He remembers a sequence of events or a sequence of activities that he's expected to do, in which order. Um, Communication. Uh, he's uh, able to, he's starting to show, uh, he's starting to express his opinion on things. So if he doesn't want to do something, he's it's very clear that he doesn't want to do that particular thing. Sure. This is not aggression or this is not hyperactivity at all. Because he's not an aggressive child. But he's able to express that this is something he wants to do or this is something else he doesn't want to do. <clears throat> Command following has increased drastically. Uh, eye contact has increased drastically. Um, and, uh, attention span has increased beautifully. So he's able to sit for half an hour at a time and do lots of activities and he doesn't get restless, he doesn't want to get up, run away uh, or anything like that. Uh, drooling and mouthing. The mouthing has uh, dropped. Uh, drooling has almost gone. Uh, there is still some, some autistic behaviors that we see, especially in the evening times. Perhaps he's tired at that time or perhaps at that time he's bored. Uh, but during the day for say 10-12 hours at a stretch we don't see those autistic tendencies like rocking or uh, mouthing. If at all they come marginally, they come for say half an hour in the evening time, which is much less compared to a uh, The toilet training has improved. Uh, he remains dry through the night, which is a major achievement possibly. Uh, he, my goal is that he should be free from diapers, uh, he should be free from diapers uh, by Diwali this year, 2015. And uh, already he's dry through the night, so he doesn't need a diaper at night. And uh, his bowel control is also improved. So he's able to go once a day at a more or less a fixed time. It's not fully consistent yet, but it's getting more and more regular. It's getting easier. So we are not always obsessing about whether to take him to the bathroom at this time or not. It's becoming more or less time now. And he's also able to pull our arm or you know, tap us on the shoulder when he wants to go to the bathroom or he goes to the bathroom on his own. So that, that work has also uh, started. And uh, he's able to, uh, starting to, with help, he needs some he from there, he's starting to wear a uh, t-shirt. And uh, now our next goals are how he can improve more on area, in terms of bathing and brushing and wearing and taking off of shoes.